Oh my God. <sighs> All right, let's start this customization. All right, here's the shoes. He literally put them in plastic bags and called it a day. Oh my God. They're actually a lot more beat than I thought they were going to be. In the pictures, they did not look this wrinkled. This thing could really put two plastic bags and was like, bon appetit. But you know, that just gives a character. Um, I saw this in the picture, which I don't really think is that bad. That's really nothing. I think this toe box, for me putting white, I'm going to have to white all of this out. All those little wrinkles is going to be really hard to get rid of. But this is first impressions and first look right here. I need to get out all of these creases. So we're going to stuff as much as I can possibly fit in here to fill out all these cracks and crevices. I'm really kind of pressing pretty hard down. And you see how I'm pulling this uh, tongue? to get the maximum stretch out of this leather. Okay, so now the next step is going to be using acetone over all the panels that I want to paint. After this, we can start laying the paint down. All right, I'm about to start painting these shoes. This is Angela's Flat White. And you just really want to do light coats like this shoe is going to take me a fat minute to actually cancel out all of this blue use tape uh, especially like this corner is going to be very hard but I don't feel like using tape right now so yeah just take your time and use light coats y'all This really is a process when you don't have a heat gun. Lots of time. Okay, so this is the project so far. I've done three coats of white and it's getting cleaner, but still probably about another three to go. So I've been doing some color mixing, trying to get something to match this swoosh here instead of it being super crispy white. This is without any alterations. This was my first go, which is a little bit too creamy, I guess. And I lightened it up a bit right here. And I think this is gonna be the perfect medium. So I'm moving on to the swoosh now and I'm taping off the white because I just don't want to nick anything and have to do that color cancellation out and over again. This is one pass with the blue. I've done some test runs with it to see and get it as close as possible to the blue that's already on here. Alrighty, I'm just about finished with these shoes. All I gotta do is pretty much put some laces in it, do some touch-ups around here, and they're done. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.